If we really are uh, serious about scaling up these circuits and making the complex quantum circuits that we need to make these technologies, then we need to automate the process of controlling, characterizing and tuning such devices. My name is Natalia Ares. I'm a tutorial fellow at New College and I'm an associate professor at the University of Oxford. What drew me to physics uh, was maths. In particular, I really enjoyed it when I was very young. And then applying it to experiments, I thought it was just amazing that you could really, uh, you know, see certain rules at play and try and discover these rules and uh, that was so very exciting for me. My group focuses on um, two different topics which are quite connected actually. One of them has to do with the thermodynamic resources that you need in order to process quantum information. This is very important because as these quantum circuits um, scale, we need to understand how a quantum information is going to be processed, what is going to um, be required in terms of understanding dissipation uh, on chip and other considerations that have to do with um, quantum device design. And also my group focuses on uh, machine learning for quantum device control. And the idea there is that, well, you know, when I started my PhD, we would sit there hours and hours and hours making the quantum device just right to uh, encode a qubit. And this was uh, time consuming and it required experience. And this is experience that you get as a student. But now we are thinking on millions of these devices and a very complex circuit. So we cannot really rely on that expertise, on that human expertise. So what we do is to develop uh, machine learning based algorithms that can learn how to um, tune, characterize, optimize these um, quantum devices, qubits in general. If we really are uh, serious about scaling up these circuits and making the complex quantum circuits that we need to make these technologies, then we need to automate the process of controlling, characterizing and tuning such devices. I think we have a variety of challenges ahead for the development of complex uh, quantum uh, devices. Well, there is of course the variability and, and we are uh, tackling that uh, via machine learning, but there are also quite important engineering challenges. For example, the fact that uh, we need to cool down and send control signals to a large quantity of devices. I think there are very important those uh, efforts that have to do with bringing the electronics uh, down at low temperatures, finding new ways uh, to control and to send, thing, uh, to send signals that are compatible with the scalability uh, challenge. It's really exciting to, to be in such a vibrant community of people that want to push quantum technologies forward. There are many challenges that are very similar across uh, quantum device architectures. And if we work together, uh, we can progress a lot faster. So I, I, fe I feel very privileged to be here. It's such an amazing, uh, let's say, hub for, for quantum.